Well, good morning, everyone. Um, for those of you who might not know, I'm Steve Sabin. I'm the current Student Senate President at Central Lakes College of Brainerd. Um, I'm also serving as the current President's Group Chair. Um, I'm chomping at the bit at the opportunity this association has this year. We're entering in a year there's some sort of an election going on. Um, we also have budget battle that's going to be heating up at the legislature and textbook campa uh, campaign, just multiple opportunities that this association is going to have to be successful. And I am just, like I said, I'm chomping at the bit of the opportunity to lead this association through those opportunities and provide the best opportunity for the students that we represent to have affordable and accessible higher education. For your first question, what is your philosophy on leadership? My philosophy on leadership is to be fair, um, to keep an open mind. I, my, you know, my own, I have my own personal beliefs, but the people that I may represent or the people I may talk to might have their own beliefs. And like I was telling you, a lot of, last, um, a lot of you last night at the meet and greet, um, I kind of approach things as I listen to the people that I talk to and find that common ground of where we can share both of our ideals and find a common place or to be able to form progress and to make things happen to be successful. For your second question, why do you want to be our next president? I want to be our next president because I'll use the primary example. We have tuition that's increasing, and it's showing that students, you know, I, I, I'm a proponent that it's showing that students can no longer afford it as they're starting to go more part-time. Um, we need more student involvement in getting their voices heard, and I think my experience that I've had the past two and a half years that I've been at Central Lakes within MSCSA learning leadership, I, I, I know I'm ready and I'm excited to be able to have that opportunity to lead the next year's student leaders um, to make it happen and make colleges accessible and affordable. Your third question, please outline what your vision is for MSCSA in the coming year, including one of your goals. Um, my vision is, you know, a prime example is this weekend we have 300 students here. When I first started coming to the General Assemblies and the conferences, my first one was Spring GA two years ago, and there was about 200, maybe a little over, and it's just climbed um, every year. I want to continue that climb, um, get as many new students involved as possible. Uh, I'd like to see the small conferences consistently hit well over 200 students, and just to get have a successful GOTV campaign get everyone excited and get out to the legislature, administration, and make things happen to have successful campaigns. Your fourth question, what is your long-term vision for MSCSA? Um, my long-term vision is to have a, continue to build on a foundation that each year students can take the torch and continue advocating for students to continue having the discussions that um, allow um, us to address issues that may pop up throughout the year, to be able to have a continued conversation to reverse the trend of tuition constantly increasing and hopefully one day start reversing that. And finally, you have a minute for closing. Well, um, I, when, when I first thought about running for president, I kind of looked at what we face next year, and once I looked back at what my career was, I, it, I said there, it, this is the, the primo opportunity for uh, me to step up and um, take what I've learned to pass that torch forward uh, and get everyone, get more students involved and excited. Um, I, myself, everyone in this room, every student that's back at our campuses entered college with a dream in mind. And my goal for next year is to get programs that allow students to be able to achieve those dreams and to live, you know, go on further into their life and to be successful. So thank you for that opportunity and um, I hope you support me as president. Thank you very much.